considering all the Z fires should be made of bullets. I don't know. I can only assume they're like 50 caliber bullets I can put down a giant elephant in his tracks. I just got done with the first two thirds of GT in like 15 minutes. Wow. Let's see. No. Why not say? Hang on a sec. I got someone texting me. Ah, right, cool. <clears throat> OPS, uh, <laughs> OPS, what the fuck? Okay. Just so you guys know, uh, the American translation of Dragon Ball GT Grand turns the GT as this anagram Grand Tour. I don't fucking know. And this is where things actually get pretty cool. Goku and Pan continue on their travels to collect the scattered uh, dragon uh. balls once again. At that time, they meet one of the shadow dragons. once again. Nova oh, yes. Shenron. Having felt so, oh, man. That, Goku's that was the Super 17 arc. Blue ass. Man, I'm just rocking these hiccups today. Goddamn. Goku's heart starts to pound as the fight starts. Hmm. So yeah, Super 17 arc sucks. Baby Vegeta arc is pretty good. Um, Shadow Dragon arc, I don't know. I am not terribly impressed, but it is kind of cool that they took the idea of the Dragon Balls in terms like their own individual like characters. Good fight with you. Oh, by the way, Nova Shenron. I'm really starting to like this guy. The more I actually look into his character, because originally I just kind of wrote him off. I was like, eh, he's another one of the Shadow Dragons. He's not... Sin Shenron, so I'm gonna pass. No, he's actually pretty awesome because um, the entire uh, the entirety of his character is kind of like a reference to Piccolo back at the start of DBZ, and I was like, the end of Dragon Ball. Because let me see if I can explain the words. <laughs> That'd be nice. So he initially starts off as like a character who really just wants to fight Goku. He's all about honor. He's just really is just in it for the fight. I like how I'm starting off the base ones, like the game's expecting me to do something. To finish you off. Let's now have... Ah. By the way, do not screw around now, because this is where the game really gets hard. Anyway, Spirit Bomb! Oh, it's Goku who says Spirit Ball. Fuck you! Oh, I should. Oh, like that's gonna hit me. Or maybe it will. What do I know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is where the AI really brings the heat, so. Brings the heat. Haha. <laughs> Definitely do not uh, go easy on these fuckers, because they'll wreck you. And now for some really funny sound clipping. <laughs> they, uh. I, re I seriously doubt they checked these voice clips half the time, because he was. The model of Super Saiyan 4, but it's still got the fucking Kid Goku's voice. I don't get that. He has Kid Goku's voice is still uh, whoever does the, the kid for no the voice for Kid Gohan. I cannot speak today. I probably shouldn't be recording right now. But yeah, I wonder if it's the same voice actor also voice the Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan. I'm pretty sure it would be. Yeah. Oh shit! Here we go. Anyway, so while I'm getting my ass kicked, although really, the, holy crap, it's not a blaster wave. The reasons for me using Nova, Nova Shenron increase all the time. Yeah. I'm definitely going to make a week up for him once I find out some good shit for him. He's got instant transmission, I and mean, he's got that move, which is really good. Because it's one of those unblockable type moves. I don't know what his other blast one is, though. Instant transmission, and... Oh, he's got explosive wave, so actually that's really fucking good. Explosive wave because of his awesome defensive properties and instant transmission because of his awesome offensive properties. Here we go. Bam! I know there's nothing after that because I've experimented with this one before. All the way. Should have fallen around and got some Dragon Balls. Yeah, I'm gonna fly around this place for like two more fights. Pretty good, Nova Shenron. Yeah, so Nova Shenron is basically a, a callback to Piccolo. He, uh, Draws off for his rivals with Goku, just really wants to fight, he's all about honor, and then eventually they team up against a uh, bigger threat, which in this case is Nova Shenron. No, no, oh, fuck. Which is Omega Shenron. And after that, they essentially become friends because for some reason or another, Goku decides to eat the four-star Dragon Ball, and then put it on his forehead and 
poops out Nova Shenron. This game is... Uh, GT is really weird. I don't think I need to explain that. Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break. And back onto Rapid Fire GT story. We got this guy. Luckily, this is this isn't a giant gap between sagas. This is actually just like a couple episodes of the gap. The most evil dragon that reigns over the shadow dragons appears before Goku and the others. Neither Goku nor Vegeta's techniques were effective in the face of Super Omega Shenron's. Oh, Super Omega Shenron now. However, they're betting on a secret recovery to win. Secret recovery? Do I mean secret move? Okay. And this is where things get. Uh, this is where things get a little stupid. And it's the story from here on is just like a bunch of crazy odds and crazy situations that play out in a very strange way. Okay, so first of all, so we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which was a gamble off from Bulma that if he, uh, the way Baby Vegeta was turned into a, a great ape, they tried using that strategy to make Vegeta into a great ape, and it worked. And then the whole strategy of becoming Super Saiyan 4 plays into making Vegeta Super Saiyan 4, and it works. Although, I don't know if... I can actually make a flinch in this one. This is really cool. There. So yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is my favorite, one of my favorite characters in the game. So, uh, it works. I don't know if Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta can just meet me to pop up after this, though. So. And how everyone says that fucking Vegeta doesn't have access to Super Saiyan 3. Uh, well, there's a Raging Blast. So this happens, and this range thing, uh, gosh, I hate your snap ins. And dur during the start of the Mega Shenron fight, like right after it happens, Vegeta, uh, Goku's still able to go toe to toe with Mo Mega Shenron. Not necessarily winning, but still holding his own. After Vegeta Pop uh, shows up, Nothing to do seems to work against him. Oh my god, it's actually really cool. Never thought of using that as the end of That's really awesome. Oh boy. Nope. Did you just do after image during that? That was weird. Uh oh. Yeah, Dragon Thunder looks dumb out of the game. Holy fuck, 18,000. So I can make a flinch, but I still does a fuckload of damage. Eh, uh, it's give and take. So, not only did somehow two Super Saiyan 4s get their asses handed to them when one Super Saiyan 4 was able to hold his own, but somehow Vegeta is able, is knowledgeable about the fusion dance. Now I know you could argue that that's what the movies are for, uh, Wrath of the Dragon has him do fusion. Oh, I'm not letting you do that fucker. You ain't getting that, oh my god, that only 6,000 damage. Nice. We're reacting through the throw, but I still want to do that thing. Huh, ah, shit. All the Z counters. Although, this isn't the worst of the fight. This is it's going to get a lot more annoying. Especially after, after this one, so be on your guard. And also, I recommend practicing the hell out of uh, Ki Goku. Not GT Goku, but like just base form, because you're going to need it for an next fight. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, Omega Shenron is one of the cheapest motherfuckers in you can possibly use. I won't say it's bad as Kid, Kid Buu, but he's certainly got easily some of the best Blast 2 moves in the game. Like, his rush is okay, but it's just really fucking fast. Oh, I'm not letting you that, motherfucker. Nope. Every time you throw me, I'm just gonna throw some melee attacks in your face. Alright, let's get some combo extension instant transmission. Ah, I still can't get that. Shit. Why is it only in training mode? I can get the heavy finish follow up after the lift strike. But here. Did you look at Wild Sense? Are you serious? Wild Sense is really useless move unless you have to run special through the defense. Okay. Oh, I do want to show this off though. This is like a. Do you have nothing better to spend your blast, your blast one gauges on? Really? Anyway. Check this shit out. Okay, so it doesn't do it naturally. Or my, or my combo timing is bad. So my idea was that I was watching a few combo videos earlier for this game. By the way, if you're ever bored and you want to see some really fucked up shit, look look up super or just combo videos for this game because I seen some people land like 200 hit combos with certain characters. 
which is really screwed up. And then I realized, oh yes, after some rush attacks, you can actually follow up with a good move. Anyway, so here we have basically God versus Omega Shenron. Yep. There's really nothing for me to say about it. Yeah. Anyway, so no somehow, no, uh, Vegeta knows how to do fusion dance. And uh, oh wait, am I getting am I getting with this? Nope, <laughs> not today. So then, uh, Gogeta himself is is kind of odd how this plays out because in the movie he was super serious, like I'm, I'm just gonna annihilate Janemba. Here, Gogeta is like he doesn't fight; he just fucks around with people. Which granted, his strength, which is probably well beyond anything we'll ever see in the show ever, or anything in anime ever again. Maybe grow a lot of them too. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why is it, why does Gogeta dick around in this fight? But against Janemba, he was super serious and just took him out one blow. I still don't understand this to this day. Grandpa and I will take care of this. But Omega whatever. And also, uh, Gogeta's so fusion in Super Saiyan Four is, is hideously short, even though. Super Saiyan 3 eats up more energy, and Super Saiyan 4 doesn't doesn't even do that. It barely eats up energy at all. I think it's the same energy consumption as like Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, basically. So again, this the series of events that plays out in the Omega Shenron fight is like so calculated that all the odds just fall into place and everything goes wrong. It's so weird. Now there's only I didn't notice. To defeat Omega Shenron. Goku gathers the last of his power and entrusts Earth's fate to an extra large spirit ball. What? You, uh. What? Kyle Hebert. Do you, what? Spirit ball? Hmm. I seem to clearly recall this attack being called the spirit bomb in the past three forms of Goku and in the show. And Spirit Ball seems to be Yamcha's payload technique. So why is it called Spirit Ball? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I won't die until I defeat you. How's it everything else in the game? They could translate it to a T, but here they blow they suddenly drop the ball. Pun probably intended. Wow. What a hitbox. Uh, well, I should probably stop complaining and start more focusing on the fighting because this is easily the most goddamn annoying fight in the whole game. I think. Can you? Oh man. L look at this. I am. I am base form Goku, which already isn't necessarily one of the better characters in the game. And I'm fighting Omega Shenron, who is one of the best characters in the game, who has maximum health, like you could possibly get. Blue energy bars. Well, blue bars, health. Bring your A game, cause this fight is really fucking hard. I don't know if you can follow up or not. Probably not. Too low to the ground. So, main strategy for this: just live. That's all you need to do. Somehow play a war of attrition with the Mega Shenron. And considering he has uh, that energy guys move, Gigantic Blaze, I think it's called. You're good. Ugh, this fight's ridiculous. Yeah. Ugh, shit. Although the idea for it is really cool. Energy gathered from across the whole universe to go into the spirit bomb. By the way, I have after Mist Strike, don't I? Uh, I'm not gonna use Solar Flare, that's kinda gay. After Mist Strike, there we go. Oh man. This, forgive me if I'm gonna be a little more quiet than usual for this, but that's because I. This. Ugh. Who are those are good? No. Did finish. Else. This is weird. Mega Shenron, Master of Z countering, Master of Guarding in general, does not decide to hold the circle button to. Oh, now he does. Uh, I cannot get this back step. And he doesn't know how to follow the combo. Holy crap, Goku's voice is sure annoying for this one. Nope. Hmm. You know what? At least you can make him flinch in this fight. 
that's all I'm really grateful for that. If you cannot make Omega Shenron flinch, this would be practical hell. Practical hell. Practically hell. Alright, this is the second second last quick time event in the game. Wait, I think. No spirit bomb yet. Mmm, Pan. You and your commentary is riveting today. Although I did just I think I just regained a bar of health. That's always nice. I guess gonna help myself. So, as long as it, as long as, as long as, peeing shit three times in a row, Bob. You're doing good today. Hold up. I'm gonna use aftermath strike since that's very good. <laughs> I can mash square and you can't. Oh wait, no. Got to spear bomb. If anyone knows any really good strategies for aftermath strike. Please feel free to let me know, cause I'm trying to experiment with it and see what we can do. Bam! Well, that's all she wrote. Everyone go home. Story's done. Oh man, strongest spirit bomb in the entire show. Not only is it called Spirit Ball here by Goku, it also has no cutscene to go with it, and is no larger than a non-charged Goku mid spirit bomb. Hmm. You may lead to some just mildly. That went better than I expected, though. I, I wasn't expecting the. Ah, fuck, I didn't no, notice fights as I go around and, and try to find Dragon Balls. Kind of distracted. Yeah, that was GT Saga. Literally just five fights, super compressed into just trying to get as much out of it as they can. I, I think they at least did a good job on a Bay fight because it was all the key fights, like just mashed together. Although, again, no backstory for Manju or Ubu whatsoever. Yeah. This was a fun one. I actually do like Nova Shenron. He, he should be able to probably be my favorite new character out of GT because Oop is only important like one fight and that's